Hi there. Now, before we start part B, just to remind you that if you looked at the first video where we discussed part A, we were given that the 2 cosine of x plus 50 degrees equaled sine of x plus 40 degrees, and we had to show, without using a calculator, that tan x degrees equaled a third of tan 40 degrees. Now we're being asked to hence solve for theta being greater than or equal to 0 but less than 360, 2 cosine of 2 theta plus 50 degrees equals sine of 2 theta plus 40 degrees, giving you answers to one decimal place for four marks. So if you'd like to have a go at this one, just give you a moment to pause the video and when you come back, I'll take you slowly through the method. Okay, welcome back then, if you had a go. So, we've got here hence, so that's obviously got to do with something that we've got here and here. Well, when I look at the equation that we've got, I can see that it is similar to the one up here. Only 2 theta replaces the x. So, we had to show in part A that we got this result here, so all we need to do is say that this result must lead to tan of 2 theta instead of x, equaling a third tan 40 degrees. So that's my starting point. So we'll start with that, so we've got the tan of 2 theta must be equal then to a third of tan of 40 degrees. I'll put that as 2 theta degrees there as well. Now if you work out one third times the tan of 40 degrees, remember put your calculator into degrees mode, you should find you get 0 0.2796 and so on. And so therefore to get 2 theta, I just need to take the inverse tan then, okay, of 0 0.2796 and so on. Now if you do this, okay, what you're going to find that you get is that 2 theta turns out to be 15.626 and so on degrees. But I normally like to draw a quadrant diagram when I've got questions like this rather than looking at a graph. I think it's a lot easier. You might disagree on that, but um, I'm just going to do a quadrant diagram. So quadrant diagram, this is 0 degrees, we turn anti-clockwise, this would be 90 degrees, 180, 270, 360 degrees. Where is tan positive? We're dealing with tan of an angle equals a positive value. Well, it's always in the first quadrant and it's in the third quadrant, so we draw two lines equally inclined to this horizontal line in those quadrants. So you're going to get something like that, and mark those two angles in as being the same. We want the solutions 2 theta, okay? They're going to be round here, this is a possible 2 theta, and this one is the 15.626 degrees. Another one would be from here, always start from zero, turn anti-clockwise to the next blue line, so that's another 2 theta. So We've already seen that this blue angle in here is 15.626 and so on degrees. It's got to be the same as that one. So to get the green 2 theta, it's going to be 180 degrees plus another 15.626 degrees. And that's going to give us 195.626 and so on degrees. Now because we're dealing with 2 theta, and we're going to be dividing by 2 in a moment to get theta, it's very tempting to stop here. But don't forget, the range can be doubled now. Although we want theta to be between 0 and 360, if I double each of these sections here, 2 theta can be between 0 and 720 degrees. So if I add another 360 degrees to this, it's like going from here, round to the red angle, and then round again 360. 
I'll still be in range for 2 theta. So adding 360 to 15.626, okay, is going to give me 375.626 and so on. And the same applies with this angle here. I've gone round the green angle there, 2 theta, but if I go round again another 360, I'll still be in range. So adding 360 to this gives me 555.626 and so on degrees. So that when I now divide by 2 to get theta, we now see that therefore theta equals, well, dividing the first one gives us 7.8 one three and so on degrees. For the next one we get 97.813 and so on degrees. Dividing 375 odd by 2 gives us 187.813 and so on degrees and finally dividing the 555 by 2 gives us 277 0.813 and so on degrees. And we've got to give our results now to one decimal place. So that's going to be 7.8 degrees, then 97.8 degrees, and then 187.8 degrees, and finally 277.8 degrees. Eight degrees and I'll put in brackets here all to one decimal place, one dp for short. Okay, 